you can have it right. turn off walls, but your walls stay on. So that's why it's important, there. right? Yeah, right. that's it. <laughs> or or that's like, or it. filter. Yeah. To process that, if you are using Revit, if you're using BIM, every single design team should be doing this. I've got a lot of my architect friends out there. You are actually the ones who need to hear this more than anything. But keeping, even if you draft everything, you should still keep the model on in the view. Exactly. But Paul did ask a very specific question, which I thought was cool. A cool, a cool concept that I don't think a lot of people know about is how do you manage, how do you manage links within your template? So I think what you're asking, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is what is is when you're bringing in files so maybe you have an MEP file a structural file uh, the trust file you're talking about whatever it is right you have very specific and probably pretty typical files that are coming in um, with the obvious being the MEP structure and, and you know any consultants um, you know how do you how do you manage those within a template so that you know things like visibility graphics and filters and all these things that are coming in through a link how do you manage that in a template so you're not doing those every single time you bring in a new link? If I was to open up one of my, a template file. So this is one of my older residential templates, which I still use. I just haven't upgraded. Uh, I probably should just upgrade and save it, but <laughs> it's a 2016 template that I've just been using. And so this is kind of the residential template, but, um, what you what you do is you create placeholder links, um, and what's cool about a placeholder link is that it exists within your file. Um, initially, you you it, you have to create a file for it. There doesn't necessarily need to be anything in the file. It's helpful when there is because you can set these things up. But um, so right now, if, if this is my template file, if I go to insert manage links, you could see I've got nothing here, but I have these. Um, placeholder files, which are just empty Revit files. If you want to use existing files, you can, but they're just empty Revit files, All right? So I made an MEP site and structural placeholder links. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I'm going to, I'm going to insert all three of these. I should probably just go to manage links. It'll be quicker. So I have a site, an MEP, and you can name them however you want. Some people like to put asterisks before it or something so that they always get linked, but it doesn't really make a huge difference or they always get uh, pushed to the top or bottom. All right, so these are just empty files. But now that you have a link in here, even if the template can't find those links because they may not exist the, you know, down the road, what you can do is now you can actually set up, right? You can set up your visibility graphics of the links if you want. So if you want to go through custom, and you know i want to turn off maybe i want to turn off uh everything except for i don't know maybe duct stuff or something like that um and then maybe i want to have my my structural model i want to have uh it always be half tone you know that kind of stuff right or i can even do filters through links i mean you get the idea so now what you can do is you can actually these placeholder links have all of your settings built into them whether it's by view whether it's by project etc and that is built into your template so then when you start a new project so now i'm just gonna i'm gonna save this template so remember this is my rte file so i'm just saving this template and i probably should have renamed it 2020 because now i just upgraded it but that's okay it's, it's a separate file so now when i go to new and i start my my project so now I still have, right, if I go to manage links, I still have these links here. If they were moved, they would say not loaded, but they would still, right, th there would still be something there, okay? And all of your settings are still there. Even though the link's not loaded, your settings are still there. So then when I have my real file, all I do is I click this, I use my placeholder and I reload from. And so I'm reloading from, but all of my settings still remain, okay? So now if I go here, you'll notice the only thing that's showing is ducts and diffusers and it's half tone or something like that, right? Because remember, I set up those settings through the link, which I just reloaded from. I didn't replace, I didn't remove, I reloaded from. So you're using a placeholder to set up all of your stuff, 
right? All your filters, all your phasing, whatever the heck you're doing. And then when you get through the project, when you start the project, you just replace that placeholder with the real file and all of your stuff. Notice how all of my custom display, it's all still there. And that was built inside my template. I was going to ask, are you setting up in those, in those like uh, placeholder files, are you setting up um, all the views and everything? Because it seems like when you're doing what you had shown where you're managing the links, mm -hmm. um, like you had a 3D mm -hmm. visible. I mean, how does that apply to all the other views? Can you set that up, first of all, in a placeholder, how you want to have all of that seen? Mm -hmm. And then when you replace it, does that work or... Yeah. Yeah. How does yeah, that work? It does. So, so what I would suggest, you know, I was shown quickly just using graph graphics overrides, but it, but if you're, okay. if you're talking about, you know, setting up the full on template, you know, I would definitely suggest creating view templates and then having those view templates assigned to your views. And then within those view templates, right. You can have, you can have the, the graphics settings. So, yeah. um, so, you know, if, if, if I was to, let's maybe I go to the first floor. Which probably won't when you when you say set up the view templates, you mean in the placeholder file or in the 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 parent file that you're in, importing, in, right? In in your template file, not in the place. The yeah. placeholder files only exist because Revit needs an RVT to create yeah. those links, right? And so okay. so the reality is, once I create those placeholder files, they don't need to be seen anymore by the template, right? So if I right. you know if I went in and I let me close this, delete. So if I went in and I took these placeholder links and I deleted them, yeah, right, and then I create a new file. Of course, it's not pointing there, so I gotta go find it again. Uh, you can see my screen, right? I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now I just created a new project using that template, which had the placeholder links. Um, if I go under Insert Manage Links, I gotta get out of drafting because it's annoying. See, so they still exist. Oops. Yeah. But they just say not found. Oh, right. Right. And so now that all the settings still apply to those and you can still just replace them. But if okay. you were, you know, my settings were just the 3D view. But if I, um, I mean, I'm in the project now, I'm not in the template, but the same, the same rules apply. So in here, if I went in and I said, you know, this specific view, you know, you know, for, for me, creating templates was always easier using good projects and taking the good parts of it. Right. And so you know, maybe you have a view set up or even a view template already in a specific project that works for you. But so let's just say this is the view. So in this one, I'm going to do um, half tone and um, and I don't know, I'm just going to half tone on the NEP. And so what I can do now, this is only this specific view, but right, I can make a view template. So if I under uh, under view, if I say create template from current view, mm -hmm. I can call this one floor plan. Whoa, caps lock. That's bizarre. Floor plan, MEP gray. I mean, obviously you want more information than that, but whatever. So, so now anyone that has this, anyone that has this view template, and so I can go through and manage this stuff, but right now the visibility graphics override through links is right here. See how half tones there? Nice. And so now I can assign these floor plans and this can be done after the fact or before the fact, it doesn't really make a difference, but, um, uh, I'm going to assign these floor plans a, um, a view template right here. And there's my view template. And now when I bring in my link, you know, even even though, you know, again, it's all set up through the, through the placeholder. If I replace this guy with the actual file, all those templates are going to apply to all those views. So that, that'll that work for filters, graphic overrides, you name it, whatever it is. And so I don't know where, where this MEP stuff's going. There it is. See, so it's half-toned. Is that any better than just setting up view templates inside your um, inside your template file, and then anytime you link to something mm -hmm. that you just use, is it is it different? Is it better to have it first well, through the link, or just set up your view templates anyway, and then it just you well, know well it, applies? It, so I I think what you're saying is if if in your view template you have some linked information there right is that is that kind of what you the the problem is um you need to have the placeholder links here in order to create yeah. those so so yes i mean i'm doing it in the project but yeah ideally you're setting this I up see. in the template file yeah i get it right get and it. then when yeah. you start your project the templates are there but you can't yeah. create the visibility graphics for a link unless a link is there 
in your template. Yeah, this is this is just like a view template. I mean, I can have a view template that says make all my ducts, mm -hmm. you know, dash lines. Right. And, and that, um, yes. And that would be. And I could do that just in a regular view template. But if I've got a link, I can force the, a lot more stuff on the link. Right, right. So, so then just. Exactly. So if, if you know, yeah. think, things like duct, maybe not the best example, because, you know, that's that's a category that you can you can affect the global view right right but let's say right. let's say your MEP model has walls on it and you don't want to see their walls you can have it right. turn off walls but your walls stay on so that's why it's important, there right yeah right. that's it <laughs> or, or that's like or it. filter yeah. or filtering right you can't yeah let's say you want to color all of the ductwork a specific color or a specific you know based on a rule built in a filter yeah. um, you have to do that with a link setup right you can't do that uh, using a global project setup right so, yeah so I think I think that that's that's sense. where you get, and I think it's, yeah, I think we're both going. No, to the that same makes place. sense <laughs> now because it seems like then what you're doing is you're saying I'm going to take whatever is linked, get special parameters on that on the views of that yes. that don't affect what my major model is, exactly. what my main model is. Exactly. So, so, so it's if you specific if you're, to a link. Yes. So so like if you're okay. if you're always bringing in an MEP file or a structural file, and every time you bring it in, you're hiding their walls, you're hiding their floors, you're yep. you're you know you're making sure that they're their wide flanges or half toned or you, you know all that stuff that you do every right. time you bring a link in you can set right. all that up ahead of time um and then this way all you're, in this way all you're doing is just reloading or replacing that placeholder with the real file and then it's all done yeah. for you okay that makes sense